Matt, here we are again, second match in a row. Your team's trailing with under a minute to go and somehow find a way to not only tie it, but then go on and win it in overtime. Is there, can you put your finger on anything as to what's happened these last two matches? Yeah, I think we've got a, a group of people that just don't quit. You know, I'm not sure we can take much credit for, for any part of it, you know. The, the goals we've scored, the way we've won these games have been very little to do with game plan and coaching. It's been winners winning on the field. You know, and let me, a couple of your seniors, I mean, you had a lot of people make big contributions, but Maureen Kennedy gets a goal with 19 seconds left, and then Chelsea wins it in overtime. I mean, you've been in a lot of crazy close matches here the last couple of years, but I mean, I assume it can only help those two. They've been through so much, they're not going to shy away from the big moments like that. Am I correct? Absolutely. Um, you know, between both of them and, and honestly the rest of everyone else like everybody believes and when you believe you can you can get things like this done and i think we had a little bit of luck on our side today um which is okay i think um there's always going to be games you play where you're the better team and games you play when you're not and things aren't going your way and having that little bit of luck today certainly helped but the conditions were were incredibly difficult to play in and i think led by people like the ones you mentioned but including many many more we we just figured out answers to, to really difficult questions that Ethan had, had posed to us. Now that having been said um, and I'm going to ask you this uh, question and maybe I shouldn't is there ever a point whether it was Thursday today anytime is there ever a point where you're like well it's not our day you know maybe we'll or have you ever I, I know you don't ever want to lose but is there Speaking for myself, I know there are points where I'm like, well, you know, maybe, maybe it's just not meant to happen today. Does it, anything like that ever creep into your mind or n nothing of the sort until the final whistle? There's the answer. <laughs> uh, and I think that was proven again today. Look, if, if there's anything from today, like it, it was really difficult conditions. It was a soft, bobbly field with an incredible wind blowing in one direction that just really stopped us from being able to do anything we wanted to do. And on top of that, uh, I think I think Easton played really well and did a really good job. So everything was was really challenging today. Um, but no, that's what I mean. Winners win, right? And they do it by by figuring out a, a new way every time to get the job done. So our women did that again today. I'm really proud of that. And that's probably why you're a coach and I'm on uh, this side of the camera. But enough, enough about me. You've now got a few days uh, to regroup for your last home regular season matches. Just. Um, what do you look to do? I mean, we're kind of, you're, you're, you've got the routines down. We're more than halfway through the max schedule now, but just how, what do you look to do as you get ready for uh, Miami coming in on Friday? We'll look to prepare for that game. Uh, we're going to spend plenty of time working on exactly what we need to do to be able to be successful. Um, and we're going to try and make sure that we go into that game ready and, and, and try and win the game. It, it really is as straightforward as that. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, Mike.